Hey everyone, this is Steve. Today let's go through an interesting problem on Leetcode 1813, sentence similarity 3. Let's take a look at the problem first. A sentence is a list of words that are separated by a single space with no leading or training spaces. So this simplifies the problem. For example, hello world with only one space to separate these two words or hello, just one single word in all upper cases, that's fine. Or hello world, hello world, it, it repeats itself with all lowercase English letters. It says, words consist of only uppercase or lowercase English letters. Two sentences, sentence one and sentence two are similar. It's giving us the definition of being similar. If it is possible to insert an arbitrary sentence, possibly empty, meaning we don't need to insert anything, these sentences are given equal themselves. Inside one of these two, one of these sentences, such that these two sentences become equal. For example, sentence one is "Hello, my name is Jane," and sentence two is "Hello, Jane." So these two sentences can be made equal by inserting "My name is" between "Hello" and "Jane" in sentence two. Right? This is a perfect, straightforward, simple to understand example. So now the question is asking us. Given these two sentences, sentence one and sentence two, written true if these two are similar, otherwise written false. All right, this is example one is basically repeating itself. Example two is of and a lot of words. This is not a val this is not a valid sentence. Similar sentences, right? Because we need to append. We need to insert a space in front of of and space of space words so two strings that we in, we need to insert one is at the beginning of of the other is at the end of the of so we cannot make these two sentences similar by inserting only one arbitrary string right but this one is like say eating right now we'll just append right now to eating these two will be similar and these two will never be similar because they're just completely different strings and there there's only one string in both of these two sentences all right. All right, for sentence two, it's clear that there's no way we can insert one arbitrary string to make these two sentences equal, right? But for sentence three, we can. For example three, we can. We can just append space, write space now to sentence two. These, these two sentences will be similar. And for example four, these two will never be similar because these two, there are only one string in each of the sentences and the two strings are just completely different. They're, they're not similar, right? Not completely different, but they're just the same, right? So that gives us the conclusion, which is it is false. So the idea that came to me is that we can, what we can do is that we can break both sentences down, split them by the delimiter space and check from both sides. First, we want to check from left towards the right to see just a few key points. Number one is that we break both sentences into space delimited words. Number two is that we'll check from both ends, from both left sides to towards the right, and from the right side towards the left. All right. Why do we need that? Because say, just for example, if we are given an, uh, all right. So this is a example three, and say if we have uh, sentence one is this, and sentence two is this, right? So these two sentences are still considered similar because we can put this prefix in front of now. That is only one arbitrary string, right? So we need to. So number two key points is number two key point is that we need to go burn the candle from two ends. So we need to visit, start visiting from the left side, move towards the right. That is one side, and then we also need to start from the right side, move towards the left if the first approach didn't find it valid, right? Just to rule out the possibility, just to rule out all of the possibilities that these two sentences could become similar in all cases, right? 
And number three, how do we iterate? So we'll just use the two pointer, the classic two pointer approach. We'll use one pointer to point towards the longer sentence, the other pointer to point in towards the, the shorter sentence. As long as the two pointers, the words pointed by the two sentences, they are equal, then we are happy to move both pointers either towards the left or towards the right. But if Whenever any one of them is not equal to the other, that means we encounter a breakpoint, right? A difference point. If that is the case, we we'll just encounter the breakpoint. So remember, at max, we can tolerate only one difference point. If at any point of time, if we have the the difference point is greater than one, meaning two or three or four, we we'll just break out immediately, right? At least that approach doesn't work. So. Yeah, so in the end, we'll just check only two options, right? Whether we got zero breakpoints, meaning zero difference points, meaning the given two sentences are equal when they are given, right? That is good. But we'll check the indices, the two pointers, at least the shorter pointer should be pointing towards either the left end or the right end, right? And the other case is that we need to insert one arbitrary stream, meaning breakpoint difference point is only one. And then we need to check both pointers need to be pointing towards either the end of both strings or the beginning of both strings. All right, that's the idea that came to me maybe. I know a lot of people come and uh, I haven't looked at other people's ideas, but I feel like this is the idea that got me um, to get it accepted, so it should be working. Um, and I thought it's pretty straightforward. Anyway, we need to check both ends. But I mean, other people could come up with other brighter ideas. So feel free to look around and comment down below and let me know how you guys approach this problem. But um, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to put my idea into the actual code to see uh, how I translate my idea into code. Let's, let's get started. So first, I'll have two strings. Uh, so I'll just call it shorter or longer, shorter. And let me just simplify this to S1 and S2. Shorter is if S1 length is greater than S2 length, if that is the case, we'll just put S2, assign S2 to shorter, otherwise S1 to shorter. And then we'll have a longer string, which is if shorter equals S1. If that is the case, we'll just assign S2 to longer, otherwise we'll just assign S1. And then we'll break everything, uh, we'll just separate them out by using the delimiter space, as it says, and there is no training or leading spaces, which simplifies the problem. Otherwise, it's also easy in Java, we can just uh, trim off, uh, like, uh, strip them off. All right, I'll ca call it short words, uh, short words to make it just more, a little bit descriptive. Short words and then just shorter uh, split. And then a similar one for long words, uh, longer. And then we need a breaks, breaks. Oh, I'll just call it diffs diffs zero and then we can have two pointers one is I'll call it i the other is j and then we can just start to go through so i would just use i to point to the shorter words array uh, words yes um, and j is pointing towards the longer longer words length and then, so, so we'll check if both, if the two words pointed by both pointers, they are equal. Short words i equals long words j. If that is the case, that is good. We'll just uh, increment both pointers. Uh, otherwise, that means it's not equal. So we'll just increment diffs by one. At any point of time, if diffs is greater than one, we'll just break. 
So at this point, we cannot just return false. That is because we're just, right now, as I said, the second key point to solve this problem using my approach is that we need to go both ends. We just need to check both ends. One is moving from the left towards the right, which is what we're doing right now. The other approach is that we check reversely from the right end towards the left, right? So if this, at this point, if the diff is greater than one, that means just from left, we try to find the breakpoint of from left to right, it's not going to work. So we can just break out, but we cannot return false yet because we need to check from the right towards the left, right? Otherwise, we'll just do while is j is smaller than long words length and long words j equals not equals short words j we'll just keep incrementing j if they are not equal right so this means we found the breakpoint and we'll just uh, hold the pointer pointing towards the shorter array steady over there it don't move but we keep moving the pointer that's pointing towards the longer array towards the right until we find another string or we meet the end we encounter the end of the longer array all right yeah that is it and now we we'll just to check so once this for loop finishes so either one either the shorter array so either it breaks out from here or it doesn't break out but it meets one of these two options or both of them right and then we'll just to check so there are two possibilities we'll just put them here if breaks not breaks i just call it diffs equals to one uh, the other is diffs equals to zero so if diffs equals to zero that means we don't we didn't find any breakpoint. Well, that is good. It's it's very likely, right? That means we just need to insert whatever is left from the longer array into append it towards the end of the shorter array, right? So, but then we need to check if i equals to short words length. That means we have reached the end of the short words, right? So then we can just append whatever is missing in the short words towards the end of the short words, right? From the long words. Yeah, this is we didn't this is the case where we didn't find a breakpoint or the difference point. Otherwise, the only other case is that we find one breakpoint. And then if that is the valid case, what we need to do is that we need to check both pointers need to point towards the end of their respective arrays. So that is i equals to sh short words length uh, and j equals to long words length. Yeah, all right, let me move this one. All right, yeah, if either one of these two cases exist hold we can just return true otherwise otherwise what are we going to do otherwise that means it breaks out the difference point is greater than one so then we'll check from the right end towards the left so let's just reset this i will just start from short words length minus one and then j will start from short words length minus one give it a, uh, an empty line and then diffs will also reset this one and then we have the for loop just to, to go through everything while i is greater than or equal to zero and j is greater than or equal to zero we we'll just keep moving now this time we are moving from the right end towards the left all right so but the logic is very similar you see here that's uh, okay i'm instead of calling i'll just type it one more time Prone to error because this is not IDE, but we'll see. Uh, e equals long words j. If they are equal, that is great. In this time, we'll just decrement them instead of incrementing because we're going from the right towards the left. Else, what we'll do is diffs plus plus, and very similar to the above. So there's quite some duplicate logic. I don't know if we can. Um, 
refactor this to uh, uh, reduce some duplication. Um, but that's beyond the scope of this video. I'm just demoing the logic here. So if that is the case, if difference is greater than one, now we can just uh, simply break, break out and return false immediately because we have checked from the left with the right. If that is the case, we are not 100% sure if this is going to be a valid similar sentences. But after that, we still cannot find, we still found there are more than one breakpoint. So that means we can just simply return false. Otherwise, we'll keep moving the pointer, pointing towards the longer words towards the left and until we find the two words are equal again. So j greater than or equal to zero. And um, no, not nums, it's word, uh, no. Long words j equals short words i j minus minus if they are not equal right if they're not equal we'll just keep doing this and then in the end because this is the burning from the other end we've checked both ends so we'll just return two cases right still two cases one case is that diffs is equal to zero the other case is diffs equals to one okay I, I misspoke. This is diffs equals to 1. The, the other case is diffs equals to 0. So if diffs equals to 0, that means the pointer pointing towards the shorter array needs to reach the end, right? So that is going to be i equals to be uh, minus 1. That means we have the reason that we have broken out is because i reached the end, like this one. i reached the end, right? The other end. So similar for this one, if there's one difference point, we need to check if i equals to i'm, I'm minus 1 and j equals to minus 1 as well. So both pointers need to move towards the very far left end. That's the only reason we could break out. All right, now let me hit run code to see if it works or any compilation errors. No, it works. OK, that's great. So now let me hit submit. All right, accept it. Uh, interesting, pretty fast. 97, uh, pretty fast, I'm amazed. Although it's pretty verbose and lengthy, I mean, there is some duplicate logic, probably like we can refactor that, but the idea is here. Let me just hit submit one more time to see any differences. Uh, wow, still pretty good. I mean, still pretty good, okay, yeah. Um, this is the entire idea. Uh, my screen is a bit small. You cannot see the entire logic, which means, which is not a good idea because usually these kind of programs, they should be le less than 30 lines of code, right? But I'm typing a lot because these two logic are duplicates, right? All right, that's the idea. Time complexity is O n. n is the length of the longer string. Uh, we're just doing one for loop, that's it. Uh, all right, if this video helps you understand the problem, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have accumulated quite a lot of different legal videos um, or, di or different algorithms and data structures, um, stack, queues, and DFS, BFS, you name it. So feel free to check them out. So hopefully I'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos. Thank you so much for watching.